Hi, everybody. It's me, Leo Brown, um, here to give my thoughts on this whole Kimberell situation. Uh, before I get into my thoughts on it, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. And if you can, share. Okay? So, let's get in. You know what? No. Let me not get into my commentary yet. And I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let you know now. I will be cussing in this video. I will not be nice. All right? And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna be cussing in this video. Find you some value. You know, sometimes before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? <laughs> How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? <laughs> Do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. And it's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And, you know, we are at church. Thank God we're here. Those of us are walking by faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so... We, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here and respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange right about now? Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other when y'all invite me to come to your church. I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe you got a little leftover from your PPP loan. <laughs> Prayer, praise, and power. You understand. Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. Amen. And so, you know, I, I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told? You're just ugly. No one likes to be told that, you know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just wanted to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. Y'all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. Uh, I have a great personality. Okay, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. Daily I shall. All right. Now, you saw what she did. We all know it's been making the rounds about what she did. She was at Brian Karn's church, who I just abhor. I'm not a fan of Mr. Karn at all. That stunt queen. But that's a whole other video. Um, now, I don't identify as Christian at all. I am not um, a, I don't call myself a Christian. I'm not a Christian, all right? But as someone who has been church adjacent, as someone who has been baptized, as someone who's been to Kojic, Apostolic, Baptist, uh, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Korean churches, okay? Catholic churches, which I actually love. I love Catholic churches. Catholic churches are just gorgeous to me. Um, but though I don't identify as Christian, I think what she did, I'll say this. If I was a Christian, I would have, me and her, I would have made that bitch out bad. Me and her would have had to step outside. Because not only were you mean, but you used humor to disguise your meanness. And you were cruel not only to the people that were there, and I'm gonna get into them in a minute, but people that probably are watching it or were watching it at home. Like, you talk about people's looks, you talk about people's money, which is none of your goddamn business. You brought up money when it came to you and your booking fee. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like people that use religion as a club to beat people over the head with it. That's why you have folks out here committing suicides and 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 not knowing which way and which end is up because of shit like that. That's why you have church hurt. That's what church hurt is. 
She's a prime example of that. And yes, Kimberly, peanut butter bitch, peanut butter built bitch, Burrell, I'm talking about you, okay? Pressa built bitch, Cinnabon built bitch, and there's no offense to pretzels or Cinnabons. I love them all. I know how to make them. Now, but the point is, she was wrong. And, you know, she's been prop, but this is not the first time, though. She's been problematic for a minute. This ain't new. And, you know, and, and since we're in, 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 in the nature of canceling people, we need to cancel this bitch permanently. Because I'm sick of this girl, and I'm going to call her that because that's what she is. A real, a real grown woman wouldn't do that shit. And, oh, and let's not forget about you saying that you're not wearing a mask. You know. And you're not getting the vaccine. Bitch, like I said, had that have been myself, I would have had to meet her out back. Because not only did you put me at risk for getting sick, because let's, let's keep it real. COVID ain't over with, hoes. COVID is far from done. All right? COVID is not over with. COVID is not sleep. But you not only put me at, you're putting your, okay, you put people around you at risk for getting sick. And then to top it off, you put yourself at risk for getting sick. Again, because at one point you did have COVID. It was mild, but you didn't, you know what I mean? But you still had it. So, I, like, I just don't, I don't, I don't, no. I don't care for her. I don't like this bitch. I don't. And I'm. And yes, I'm calling you a bitch because I don't like you. You are mean. You're elitist. You know what I mean? Because you the same bitch talking about, well, I didn't get a Grammy and this and that and this and blah, blah, blah. Bitch, it's not like you are the best singer in the world. Let's keep it real. You good at what you do. Don't get me wrong. You do have talent. But but your talent, your 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 cruelty negates your talent. Your cruelty negates your message. Your materialisticness negates your message. If you claim to be, and it doesn't matter what faith you practice, if you claim to be a lover, and I'm going to use the Christian faith because that's what she claims to be, right? So you claim to be a lover of the Lord. You claim to love the Lord with everything you have, right? So you claim to love the Lord the way you do. When you try your best to be as Christ-like as possible, I mean, I'm just asking. When you try your best to elevate, to educate, to heal, not only the people that follow you, but yourself. Because that's what true spirituality is about. It's about you doing the work. But apparently, bitch, you don't want to do that. You know, you want to blame the devil and all that. Girl, kiss my ass. The devil didn't put them bobos in your Excuse me, not bobos. The devil didn't put them bonbons in your mouth or that chicken on that plate, babies. And let's and why we get let's get into let's get into uh the people co-signing her bullshit. The audience. Okay, you realize that she's talking about you, right? You, you, you realize that, right? I, I hope you know that. You realize that she was talking about y'all. The very people that, that pay to see her. That go to her concerts. That pay her money. All right? That put, you know, that, that see, nope. I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah. And then you have the nerve to no, I'm going to just let y'all watch that. Roll it. Hello, everybody. This is Kim Burrell. I'm sorry. I mean it. I mean that. Not from the letter, from my heart. I released a letter two days ago. It did not convey right at all. And I must tell you this. It was from an attorney that asked me to do it because the latter part, y'all know I know, it was offensive. It should have been. It was not my intent for it to be, but it was her wording to say they need to be aware because of the person you are. And that. I said, nah. My friends called me and said, no, there are still people who are hurt from the part of them that they love about you. Come back. 
that's not the only reason I came back, because I still said, come on, but they didn't feel my heart. I came back because I do love you. This ain't about dates. This ain't about keeping my career. This is about keeping the love real. I love you guys so much. And I'm really, truly sorry. I did not want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't plan on hurting you. And I pray that you will heal from this. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Wait and see. I do. Okay. Then you have the nerve to issue your apology. You're no better than a Paula Dean. You're no better than a Stacey Dash. You're no better than a Tamar Braxton. And, 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 and I'm gonna tell you why I'm bringing up these names. I'm bringing up these names because if you notice, whenever they got into some shit, none of them took accountability for their actions. None of them. And that's exactly what she did. She deflected what she did and blamed it on her attorney. And then she was like, well, you know, I meant it from the heart. And, you know, my the first one, the first apology I sent out, it was by my attorney. But, and, you know, I didn't know that. And, you know, I knew it was going to be. OK, if you knew things were going to be cruel, if you knew it was going to be taken a certain way, then why the fuck did you even say it? Don't you realize that you can speak your own demise? Don't you realize you have the power of the tongue? If you read that Bible the, the way you claim to do, if you know your Bible inside and out, which you probably don't, but if you know it, girl, you would know that. Unless, and, and since you talk about PPP loans, okay, I really need you to check on yours. Please, check on your PPP loan. Because, I, I, mean, I mean, the word on the curb is that you got one too. Bullshit. I can't stand hypocritical people like that. Pretzel built bitch. Anyway, and no shade to pretzels. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Um, let me know what you guys think. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. I'm over her. She can kiss my ass. See you. And saying some things.